I'm Nicole Moore, and this is a set of imaging experiments. Uh, our first experiment is going to be with a big old flashlight, and we see this weird blobby image that it illuminates everything. Um, but we can select out an image of the filament using a pinhole. I just have a piece of paper with a hole plugged in it. You can make that hole with anything. And as you see, can see, you can select an image of the filament with the pinhole and rotate it around as you move the pinhole around the front of your um, flashlight. So, what I have here is a pinhole camera. This is just made out of like a Folgers coffee can with its lid on. The bottom has a hole plugged into it and it's designed so that we'll form an image of what we're looking at on the lid and we've got poster board wrapped around it to help keep it dark by uh, the eyes of whoever's looking into it. And on that plane of the coffee can lid, you can see that we're forming upside down the image of the Institute of Optics Science. So every point of light in our Institute of Optics sign is emitting rays out. And this pinhole is selecting a ray that's coming in at an angle and then going down and hitting the lid of the coffee can so that then you can see. So just like using a lens, you can form an image with just a pinhole. This is the first type of camera that existed. It's called a camera obscura. This is a very simple uh, lens camera. Here we've got, it's made out of yogurt containers and a peanut can with the um, plastic lid still on it, but the bottom cut off, and a small plastic lens taped to the top of the um, outer yogurt can. But using this system, you can form an image on the plastic lid, it will be upside down. Using this camera, we'll form an image of the sign. We can adjust the focus, the out of focus and into focus. And uh, you'll see the image is upside down, just like in the camera obscura, because we only have uh, one lens. Here I've got a Kodak one-time use camera. And um, if you take it apart at the Themes. It, that takes a little more pride than I made it look like just now. This one's already been taken apart. And if you remove the film and the batteries and everything, you can uh, place a piece of scotch tape right here where the film used to be. And that's going to be the film where your image is formed by your camera lens. Um, otherwise, you couldn't take pictures with it. So, much like our other experiments, I can form an image of our sign or whatever else I have to look at, but this time it'll show up on our scotch tape. Here's our sign that we're going to image onto the tape of the one-time use camera where the film used to be, and here is the image. Uh, once again, the image is formed upside down.